Hey Wanderers! Welcome to Wanderlust! I'm Ron. And I'm Amanda. And this is Military Chatter. Today we're going to be talking about packing. Yay! <laughs> so packing is if you're PCS and it's going to happen. Now um, one thing that we love about being in the military and uh, is that they will pay a moving company to pack you up and move you. Right, that is a great thing. Another thing that I love about being in the military is that because we do have to move so often, every three to four years, sometimes every two years, we have to go through our stuff more often than yeah. if we were just stationary in a place. You know, we have some friends in our Sunday school who are, are downsizing a house and in the uh, they were military as well, but they've been in the same house for about 29 years. Um, oh. Yeah, and uh, they were talking this past weekend about how much they've accumulated. So, yeah, so it's a it's an advantage, I guess an advantage, but it's a, a something you don't think about. Um, but when you have to pack yourself up every few years, you you quickly learn. I don't know that I need well, all that. And I was just thinking it could be. I mean, that's something that we choose to do, but technically, you could just move around a bunch of stuff. Yeah. Now, it's going to cost you because the military does pay, but... Yeah, so, so based on your rank, you get a... And your dependents. And, and oh, dependents. If you have dependents or not. Right. Like, it doesn't matter how many. Uh, but but uh, ba based on, on your rank scale and, and with or without dependents, you get a certain poundage of how much they'll move. Um, and so, I think... At, well, you can. Years. It's it's available online. You can actually yeah. Google that little scale. But like at, at, at my previous uh, our previous move it was around eleven thousand pounds, something like that. Uh, which, uh, if you're going overseas, is about eight crates. Uh, I was going to we'll say everything works in terms of crates when we're talking about packing up. Yeah. Usually, so everybody. If you're going overseas, basically. right? And then when you get there, everybody's like, "How many crates did you have?" Yeah. Like that was pretty funny. So, so yeah, so you could, yeah, you can uh, just pack everything everywhere, and it, it, if you exceed your maximum allowed weight, you pay the difference. Yeah, you have um, to. We've never done that, so no. we don't know what that looks like, but. And and. and you know, I see it as, as, as an advantage is, is it makes it, we, we don't just have stuff. Well, it makes us look at what we do have and, and at really ask ourselves, do we want to unpack that at the next place? Mm -hmm. Because they'll pack everything. Like Ron said, they come in, they'll literally just pack you up. But then when you get there, you to, have... To include, they'll pack up the garbage if you're not careful, which we'll talk about. <laughs> they will, yes. Um... <laughs> And even, like, they don't, one of the things that I noticed at our very first move is if you have a dresser drawer or, like, a small, yeah, a dresser drawer, they'll pull the drawer out, not all the way out, just, like, pull it out. They'll take their packing paper and they'll lay it on top of whatever's in that drawer, and then they close the drawer up and tape it, and they pack the whole thing out. Yeah. So, um, there's not, they're not packing you up and putting everything into a, the only time I have seen them be super careful is when they're dealing with with kitchen items mm -hmm. and when they're dealing with like little breakable knickknacks and stuff that you have laying well, yeah, out they're very and, and careful like if about you have that. stuff already packed into like tubs they don't repack those but they do label that packed right. by owner uh, so if you right. get there and you open up your your tub and it you know other than if all they, your Christmas decorations right other than they dropped something and crushed it but just like something shifted you know in the thing they're gonna go no you pack that buddy right but if you have your tub and you have the lid off of it then they'll put packing paper inside there, and then they will close the lid on it and seal it up. Yeah. And that will be something they packed, even though they really don't touch. They might add a few things to it if it's you know in a room around stuff. So so but. so let's let's let's, let's kind of walk through the big steps of the process. So so obviously you should know when you're moving, uh, and and you should know that you'll know that uh, ideally months before you ever get orders or even an assignment notification. Uh, you'll know that you're on a, on a move list, that sort of thing. And so what we do is, is, is we start just taking room by room uh, and kind of going through things. It doesn't mean that we, you know, we, we obsessively purge or anything, but we'll take the closet and we'll go, all right, hadn't been through the clothes in a while and, and do that sort right. of thing. Uh, but, or the but, garage. We right. got a lot of stuff out of the garage. Yeah. 
couple yeah, months ago. Because that's the spot where you just kind of accumulate things. Uh, so definitely going through yourself and, and, and you want to know what it is that's going to be packed up and, and moved because that's all going to get cataloged somewhere down the road in the process. So it's helpful for you to know and that's important because let's say something does get broken uh -huh. or a box gets lost or heaven forbid a crate gets lost. You want to know what it is because they're going to have to reimburse you for that. So um, the first move we made in the military was from Colorado Springs to Turkey. And um, they loaded us, all of our crates up. They, we got there, our stuff got there. And we're, everybody's unpacking everything. And then there is a, an event or something while we're still unpacking. But anyway, we go to the event and everybody wants to know, like, how did it go? Was there any issue with your stuff coming over on the boat? And we were like, no. Like, I, it never occurred to me that there would be bad issues. issues with the thing until um, everybody was like, oh, did you lose something? Like, did something break on yours? And other people are talking about their horror stories, the things that broke on theirs. And this lady said, the boat sank. Which can happen. Boats sink. I was just like, well, and, and, that's and, their whole, and, that's and, their and whole the house. Was while we were in, in Spain, like an entire boat uh, with cars, like right. caught on fire. Yes, and I remember that, vehicles. and people did lose vehicles because it so, caught on fire, but yeah, so she, when she said the boat sank, I thought, oh, that's a whole level of anxiety that I didn't even know I needed, <laughs> <laughs> needed to have, and, um, but since then, we have had no issues with any boats sinking with our stuff on. So, so yeah, the, the first thing we do is, is we kind of start to, to look through the house and figure out, all right, like she says, what uh, what do we want to unpack on the other end? And sometimes you're looking at it and you're going, you know, we unpack that, but we put it in the closet intending to do something with it later, and, and we haven't touched it in the three years we've been here. Uh, we've never been to the point of having boxes un not unpacked when we went to pack up for the next move. But right. some people do. Only some people because, have right, only because I would not be able to live with having boxes that were not unpacked. Like, we get unpacked pretty quickly. We do. Um, yeah, so, but it does remind me that while we were in Turkey, we bought that big lamp. Or it was like a yes. hanging light. A Turkish lamp, beautiful. Oh, beautiful. it's so pretty. And we carried that thing around until this assignment. just last year, we gave it to my parents. And I was like, can you just take this? Because you would, it, number one, it doesn't work with the same electricity voltage because it's Turkish and also um, well that, that, that's 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 not the issue I mean because if that's the bulb it was but, the but, bulb but thing, right? well, yeah but but with this it would have to be complete you'd have to get an electrician completely the, yeah, wired the into biggest, a house the biggest issue was that and then when you leave right unwired. it's not it's not just a lamp yeah. like that you can sit on a table it come it would have to come through the ceiling to hang it was like a big hanging thing and then if we went to the trouble of installing that, like he said, we either then leave it where we were or we have to figure out how to uninstall it and take it with us. So, so we I just, just did that to our parents. Right. I just said, do you guys want this? Right. Because they would use it and it's we're, so we're, pretty. We're, we're looking forward to seeing it uh, in your house next time we come visit. That's right. Because I know so you're watching. Get working on it, Daddy. <laughs> get it ready. So, so that's the first big step. Now, once, once you have orders, and we're actually at this step now, um, the, the first thing you got to do is, is you've got to get with the travel management office and, and get them to arrange the, uh, the pickup. Um, so one thing that a lot of people don't realize is that they can pick up at multiple addresses. Um, so, so when you're... Oh, you mean they as in the, the movers. The moving company. Right. So the Air Force is going to contract with local moving companies and send them here and, and they're going to do all that stuff. Um, usually what they'll do is probably a week or so out. Uh, they'll send uh, somebody by who will walk through the house and kind of go, all right. Make notes about stuff. It'll take a day to pack this up. Um, and it'll be X number of crates, that sort of stuff. And they're they're usually spot on. They are, which is so weird. They can um, just walk through a house and tell you exactly how many so, crates So, so they'll, they'll come sort of do that, make sure that they've got the right amount of days um, set aside uh, for the folks there. Um, and... The accessibility of that depends on where you are, uh, where we are right now during the summer. There's a, there's not a lot of volume uh, or capacity to, when we surge during the move, it's, and so move days become very precious. Uh, yeah, there's places, not a lot of moving companies that they can 
yeah. go through. So they get booked up very quickly. Yeah. So they're going to come and do that so that, that, they're, that they're prepped to come and to, to do the, the Well, and they, because they have to bring a separate boxes for mattresses, yeah. for washers and dryers, like that kind oh, of I'm stuff. Oh, I where I was going. So the, the, what, what a, lot of, a lot of people don't know is that they will pick up multiple addresses. And this is important uh, if, if you're like me, uh, you know, I have uh, an, a, a big office, uh, I have a nice office right now, and I have a lot of books. Books. As a chaplain, you have a lot of books. I seriously downsize this time, but I think about my newest chaplain. He's got nothing but books in his office. Yeah. So a lot of books. Uh, and, and you may have knickknacks, things you picked up, you know, at different assignments. Um, I like to personalize my office uh, a lot so that uh, when someone walks in, they may see something and it sets them at ease to start a conversation. It, it just makes a, the process of, of, of working with people a lot easier. But Man, if I had to pack my own office stuff or, right. or, even just, or bring, just bring it load here, it in the car to bring it here to unload it, would, it to have it them load it. It would be such a pain. So, yeah. so when you're you're packing, you can, you can give them two separate addresses to pick up at, um, and they'll go pack there. And, and when they come do that assessment, they're going to factor that into it because uh, they'll peel two people. I was going to say usually office, they right. bring a big crew and they send them all throughout the house to start working. Yeah. And while they're working, they grab a couple and they're like, let's go down to the office and load that up real quick. Cause that takes like 45 minutes and then they come back and yeah. just keep working. So it's just all included in the same day usually. So on the day that they show up, um, they, and, and they, they are quite punctual. They'll show up, they'll have their whole crew here right. and you, you sort of give them some left, right boundaries. Some of that, um, when we talk about the different shipments for overseas, right. there's some of that. Uh, but but you give them some left rights, uh, like for doing a stateside move. You know, we're gonna have some things that we're just gonna take in, in our vehicles uh, with us. So we'll have right. those off. And hey, don't pack this stuff. Yeah, we usually put signs up that says "Don't pack in here," yeah. and then they just completely stay out of there. And yeah. And then, and then you just get out of their way and buy them pizza. Is yes. Usually what so we're yeah. Doing. So what we've always done is, is we usually buy them lunch um, for a couple of reasons. One, it's just nice to do, um, you know, and, and they appreciate it very much. Uh, and we've not had any major problems. Uh, so well, then also nice. I don't want them taking the time to right. get in their vehicles well, that, and that drive was, somewhere to eat. That something was that was the other part is, and... is you lose time when they have to go eat somewhere. So we usually just right. ask them, hey. Kind of pizza you guys like? We order a bunch of pizzas. Go grab. Oh, and we always pizza. have a lot of bottled water, yes, they, especially when you're PCSing in the summer, because it almost doesn't matter where you live. It's hot in the summer, so if you're PCSing in the summertime, yeah. have so lots of water. Pizza, bottled waters, uh, and, and and some sodas, uh, and, yeah. and they, they really appreciate it. So they're going to arrive, and they're going to they're going to sort of divide up their areas. And a, a, a few things is one, um, if they disassemble it. They have to reassemble it on the other end. So they will take apart your beds. They will take apart um, entertainment, entertainment centers. centers, which <laughs> they don't like ours. We got a really big one we bought in Turkey. So they'll, so if they disassemble it, they have to put it back together on, on the other end. And it's um, not the same day. Right, yeah. So, the, the moving company at the new location will reassemble what the moving company at this right. location disassembled. Um, and, and so, you know, if, if there's something that you only trust yourself to do, then, then you do that, but they're going to label that. They're also going to catalog every ding and every piece of furniture oh, that right. you have because if it gets on the other end and it, and it scratched up, they're liable for that. Right, because then you can say, well, that's scratched and there's not a note that it's scratched. And so, right. so that's one of the things that we do at the beginning before they start packing so, that day. So the, 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 the the, the foreman. The foreman, yeah. <laughs> right. uh, he's going to have a, a, a clipboard and he's going to be walking through and he's going to be, be jotting this stuff down. And that, and that will come right. in with the paperwork at the end of the day. Uh, but but he's, he's not going to miss anything. Uh, and they're going to put on everything that they pack, either boxes or if it's individual, you know, like when we break down our bed, it gets into like six or eight pieces. They wrap right. each one of those individually. Each one gets a sticker with a right. number. And, and you will find those things. All the time, All the time. everywhere. <laughs> I was just looking around this room to see if there was a sticker still stuck on something. So. But they, like, for the longest time, our vacuum cleaner still had a sticker stuck on it. I was like, we need to take this off the vacuum cleaner. But it it's, just... It's its badge of honor. Right. It just didn't matter that much. It was but, just a but that's how to keep up with, with, with all your things. So, so you'll have... Um, well, video. right. On, on your sheet, it'll say like number 46 and then out to the side it says vacuum. Right. Or it'll say number 78, master bed. 
Yeah. And it's just a piece of the bed, and maybe there's seven of right. them that say so, master so, bed. So uh, our footboard has a scratch on it, so it'll say, uh, you know, 57 master bed footboard, uh, and then it will have whatever code. Yeah, a code to talk about that, that it's scratched up. Um, and they'll go through that, and you're gonna you're gonna get to look at all those things. And so what we normally do is um, the kids this the, the kids are much uh, older now. Right. But in the past, now, we would get friends to like watch the kids, keep them out of the hair. Yeah. If and you're doing this and you have little kids, please find a babysitter. a babysitter because you need to be paying attention to what's happening because. You think it's going to take a long time to pack this house up, but as soon as they get started and they have a box ready, they carry that box outside and somebody else is ready to load it up on the truck. And in order for it to go on that truck, one of you has to mark off that, yes, we saw this thing go on that truck. And so you can't be chasing children around trying to do that. Right. Thing. So, so like usually I'm the one uh, pacing around the house, answering questions, that sort of stuff. She's out in the garage. Right. Or I wherever, stay out by the truck with the clipboard, marking them off, as marking they go them on. off as they put them on. And like I said, they don't pack up the whole house and then take it all out and then load it on the truck. It is all working at the same time. And, and I love it because it is adult Tetris. Well, and it's That's very efficient. Doing. But yes, they do have one person that seems to be like some kind of ninja load master or yeah. something like he can He's got look good spatial awareness he really does like <laughs> that almost always they look at a box and they're like okay bring me that box because it'll fit right here and they will just like, like slide it right in i'm like oh my gosh but they need it to be packed because if it's not packed it jostles around the whole time that giant crate is moving yeah all the boxes move around, so. Uh, another kids. thing, and that this this is key for us. Uh, so, like we have uh, in our, our our bed our bedroom, we put it in the closet. We have a really large dresser that has a, a mirror to the back. Well, because of where we've got it, we ne we never unpacked the mirror from before. So I will need to remember to take that mirror in to have it near there this time, so that it's with it when we get on the other right. end. You know where it is. Oh, and and sticker number one is the most important thing. It's gonna be a box. Right. First thing he's gonna do is he's gonna take this one. box up and it's box number one and it has all of your hardware. All of the screws yes. and nails and so, nuts so when, and bolts So when they disassemble everything. the master bedroom, uh, the bed in the master bedroom, they're gonna take all of those screws, put them in paper, wrap it up. Tape it and then put the thing. <laughs> they're gonna tape it like it's Ford Knox and right. they're gonna write master bedroom hardware and it's gonna go in that box. Um, and, so, and that's the last one that goes in and yeah. the first one that comes out is number and, and one. So that you want, you want to put your hands on that first because on the other end when they start to unpack and put together, they're going to be looking for the hardware box so that they can start right. putting these beds together. And so when you get on the other end, that's going to be the other part is somebody's going to be marking off as every box comes off so that you're not missing boxes. And then the other person, again, she's usually doing boxes, I'm in the house, is going, all right, this is the master bedroom. And, and when they pack you up, they're gonna label what room uh, this comes out of. So like when we right. did- uh, That's one Spain, thing that I really like, is they do, they go by rooms. So everything from that room is pretty much together in a box or as much as it can be. Right, so when we left Spain, there was boy one, Right. Boy two. And boy two. Um, and so we knew when we got here, and I pointed, all right, that, that's boy one room, that's boy two room, and then everything went into there. Right. Now, they will, on the other end, completely unpack you. They will if you ask them We to. do not do that. Now, so what we make sure is that uh, all of the furniture items get unpacked and reassembled. And reassembled, yeah. Once that is done, then we're like, hey, we're good yeah, uh, because we want to unpack our own boxes, but they will fully unpack you. They will. They'll put your stuff on shelves. Yeah. I've never asked anybody to do that because how random would it be if well, you were and, just like putting well, stuff Well, and then out? because what you end up with is everything is unpacked and in the way. And so, so like you're going to have a box that's going to almost be nothing but pi pictures from your wall. I want to open that box last once I've gotten everything else in place. Right. So then we can open it and we can start decorating the house. But if you tell them to unpack everything and... The, the the one good thing about that is they take all the trash with them. But most right. companies, you know, they'll they'll set a date. You know, you know, call us in a week and we'll come pick up. You yeah, know, that's what they did here. Stuff. We just set all that together. But and then there's always people around a military base that are looking for boxes because right. they're trying to pack themselves and all that stuff. So because there is that option, which we'll talk about. That's um, in the next video. In the next video. Yeah. So anything else, anything else about packing? 
We're in the minimize still phase and also I think we've just about completed the get ourselves on the list. Yeah. Because we just heard already that they're booked for the month that we wanted them to pack us out. So, so we're going to go see if we can sweet talk them tomorrow. Right. We're going to see if so. we can get in there. But um, so that's where we are in the process right now. And then we'll we'll see how it goes. And we'll be sure to update you guys whenever we actually start packing. Absolutely. All right. Thanks for joining us. We hope that this um, was informative for you. And be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Bye, guys. See you later.